The following segment is sponsored by Dick Brooks Honda. We all prepare ourselves and our homes for the season ahead, and the same should be done for our cars. Ed Rich is here from Dick Brooks Honda to talk about it. Hi, Ed. Good morning, Margaret. Uh, first, some advice. You say there are important items we should all keep in our cars now with winter weather ahead. What's on that list? Well, preparing to get stuck out in the weather, you should always have uh, a, a good coat. Uh, you need to have, make sure your cell phone is good, working, got a charge. Uh, it wouldn't hurt to have a blanket. And it would also not hurt to have something that you could jump off a battery with in case you got stuck with a dead battery. Nobody wants to end up broken down on the side of the road this winter. So you recommend getting a good winterizing and safety check for your car. What does that entail? Well, to, to winterize the car, you need to make sure your battery is at full charge. You need to make sure that your heater is working properly, the thermostats. Uh, it's good to make sure your tires have the proper tire inflation. Weather sort of fluctuates and it changes that. Well, some people watching this have probably made the nice list, or maybe they're making a resolution to drive a better, newer car in 2022. Now is an especially good time to trade a car in with you. Tell us why that is. Well, we're getting some good trade-ins. We've got a lot of, uh, of good uh, certified Hondas and a good selection of other makes and models that are not Hondas. But right now, the value of your trade-in, if you have one, is up about 25% as I, is what I've read. And if you're looking to buy a new car, they uh, the 22 models have not increased maybe 1%, 1.5%. Uh, so it's a great time to take advantage of the equity you have and transfer that into a, a newer car at a lower payment. And we're, we're, a lot of people are doing that. It's a good, good time to do it. Well, you're always looking out for people at Dick Brooks Honda. When folks come by, they're also going to find some great ways that they can support the community along with you. Tell us what you have going on. Well, we Toys for Tots. We've got some uh, uh, boxes out there, and people just have started bringing uh, Toys for Tots for Christmas. We do that in conjunction with the, the U.S. Marine Corps. They'll come by and pick them up, and they'll distribute them to families that are needy. We have a coat drive for, that we're doing right now. If you have extra coats, we have there's homeless people, and there are people that need uh, to be warmer. And if it's just hanging in your closet and you hadn't touched it in a year, you need to bring it to us. And so we can distribute, get those distributed to people that need them. And also we are continuing to support uh, Greer Community Initiatives with uh, Meals on Wheels. And if you want to bring a check by made out to Greer Community Initiatives, we'll get it to them so that they can use that to purchase the food that they have to distribute to people that need it. And they, uh, it takes about $5 a day, uh, $5 to feed somebody for a week. And we're feeding over 300 people a week now. So we'd appreciate that help. Well, every bit helps. So people can bring a toy, a check for Meals on Wheels, or a coat when they come see you. Anything else you want people to keep in mind before we go today? Well, uh, we also are talking about pre-owned cars. We have a pre-owned lot in Lyman, uh, Dick Brooks uh, pre-owned, uh, next to the post office. And over on Highway 9, we've opened a new lot almost at the junction of 292 and Highway 9. You can... Uh, it's back about 300 yards toward Boiling Springs from mm -hmm. Highway 292. And uh, so we've got a good selection of cars that people can stop by if you're in that area and take a look at them. Fantastic. And people want to go check you out. The address at your main store, of course, 14100 East Wade Hampton Boulevard in Greer, or visit DickBrooksHonda.com. Ed, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you, Margaret.